Hello, Mr. Nygren here. Welcome to The Sims 1. I'm using the widescreen patch from 2020, I believe. So the problem with this patch <coughs> is that they removed the zooming in features. I have a bunch of custom characters here. We'll take a look at the game. We'll enter the game. So in the menu it looks very small, but that's fine. Then we enter the game. We'll start the game as Final Fantasy 7 good family. The problem is that this is the maximum zoom in that we can do in the game. In the original game we could zoom in way more. I like playing with zoom in, so I can see everyone up close and such. Uh, so uh, the face is very small and the characters are very small. If you zoom out we have three levels of zoom and the maximum zooming out is this one. They've added a third zoom out where um, this one wasn't in the original game so here we can see everything which is probably good if you want an overview of the game and you have the middle one the old max zoom out one this was maximum in the old original game so I'm, I have patched the game with a patch, a widescreen patch from 2020 which increased the resolution so you can use your own graphics card and the graphics are wonderful with the models and such. The problem is that they are too small and they added a new zoom out mode. So the third one when you zoom out is this one where you have a total overview of everything. Some people might prefer that. And then you have the old zoom out. This was the maximum zoom out in the original. So you still have a good overview when you are building and stuff and, and such. Okay, and then you have this maximum zoom in. Uh, which was the middle zoom in in the original and they removed uh, the max zoom in uh, mode and uh, this I think is bad because I'm one of the guys that you know like zoom, zoom in on the characters and see everyone up close and they are too small so <coughs> I'm just doing this video to criticize that they removed uh, that they replaced the max zoom in with a new zoom out so they added this one and removed the, the, the next Me zoom in level that. which would have allowed the player to see the characters even more up close. Okay, so this is the max zoom in in the widescreen mode. Of course the models look aw awesome and such. So I tried uh, renaming the new.exe file because when you patch the game there is a uh, Sims backup file created of the old uh, exe and then they make a new one that is named Sims exe and when you start that when you start this version of the mod I mean the game uh, and uh, the problem is that when I <coughs> went out of the game and uh, th then replaced uh, I believe it I named the new exe to Sims uh, new and then then I renamed the Sims backup one the old one to Sims then I could start the game using the old one <coughs> but unfortunately it's bugged. It, there are like two mouses and it's very very odd when you move the mouse and the, the backgrounds uh, are glitchy. When you move around the camera like this there are a lot of glitches uh, on the screen but if you have it uh, still like this then it looked good. And when I used that .exe file I couldn't easily record. I couldn't record with Bandicam. I can record with Nvidia Shadow Play Recorder like with any old 2D game or 3D game, you know, Diablo 2, Rome to the War, Sims 1, all of them do not work with Bandicam, but they do work with Nvidia Shadow Play Recorder. The problem is that Nvidia Shadow Play Recorder creates movie files in 20 minutes, and then they create another one. Well, with Bandicam you can record very, very long videos, there is no limit. Uh, I mean the, the limit is the size of your hard drive uh, so you can record until you run out of space well if it, and with your shadow play recorder unfortunately you are um, limited to 20 minutes per video and then you need to use a, a program like Filmora or Movie Maker to combine the, the, the videos into one video which takes forever but anyway when I used that old.exe file, the, the um, max out zoom seen here was removed. And instead I could zoom in another level. I could uh, zoom in even more than this. 
and the game would still have these uh, better graphics so the models looked awesome uh, but unfortunately I can't use Bandicam to record a video uh, uh, like I can with the new DTX file and uh, <coughs> yeah the, the bo both the little head here and, and the characters they looked awesome uh, almost as good as Simit 1 actually they looked probably like in Simit 1 but slightly less uh, zoomed in because in Simit 1 you can zoom in uh, like an unlimited amount and zoom out an unlimited amount you can zoom in how much uh, you, you like and in this game you only have three levels and the problem uh, the problem is that they removed the, the max zoom in and replaced it with a new zoom out and uh, yeah I would like the creator of this patch to, to to make a version where you can zoom in even more than this like in the original game and inst instead of having a new zoom out you would have uh, the old zoom in feature because when I used that sims.exe uh, file, the old one uh, they looked as good as they do here but you had the ability to zoom in even more and then you can see the faces and everything even more up close which looked awesome. I will do a video using NVIDIA Shadow Player Core. I will try to keep it beneath 20 minutes, below 20 minutes, and then you can see clearly how, how good the uh, models look when they are zoomed in even more. I mean, uh, some people like me um, are not really playing Sims for building. I mean, this is good if you want an overview of everything, and this if you want to build, and then this, it, could work as you know when you play but they are a little bit too small in my opinion there needs to be another level of zoom in uh, to enjoy uh, everything properly you want to see them up close and uh, unfortunately it's not possible to zoom in anymore in this version of the game but when I used the old .exe file I could zoom in even more and uh, they looked awesome problem is I can't record with Bandicam because that .exe file is direct uh, draw I believe it's old the, the program can't handle it and when I move the camera like this there were a bunch of graphical issues and it's not because of the zoom in feature it's because uh, it's the old .exe file so in, in other words if, if uh, they replaced this maximum zoom out uh, option with another zoom in, zoom in option instead then uh, it would uh, be totally without bugs using this new text file but we would have the ability to check the characters more up close so yeah this is a great patch by the way it uh, allows the player to play the game in widescreen on a modern computer Windows 7 like I am playing here Windows 10 or Windows 11 and it works without lag my computer is a gaming computer but it's from 2013 and it works without lag I'm using my NVIDIA Shadow, uh, I mean NVIDIA graphics card I believe I have a 780 graphics card Okay, and uh, it was the best one on the market in 2013 it's pretty old by now but it works fine here uh, so the models look great even when zoomed out like this but unfortunately I'm not able to zoom in anymore so uh, I looked on Google for a method to remove this zoom out mode and uh, re-add the old zoom in instead but there was no such option so I thought by posting this that maybe could inspire someone to ask the developer for to, to re-implement the old zoom in feature as it's more fun to play with another zoom in instead of this uh, zoom out okay I will do a video where I show how good uh, the models look when zoomed in but unfortunately uh, it's buggy with the mouse and uh, when you move the camera like this it's extremely buggy and that's because it's the old .exe file I, I, uh, what I'm saying is I'm asking for a new .exe file that is exactly like this one but where the zoom out the third zoom out, this one, 
is removed and instead you have another zoom in like in the original game. I believe the creator must have preferred to be able to zoom out more so you can have an overview over everything while others like me for example would have preferred to keep the old zoom in because I'm playing not to build but to have the characters interact and such and it's more fun if, if they are if you can see them up close. Okay. Thank you for watching and see ya.